Hi everybody, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the polishes I wore for the Polish Talk Challenge 2020 for the month of March. March's hashtags were green and gold polishes and white untrieds. Um, and then we had a couple of pin it manicures for recreation. Um, I did not get around to any recreation posts whatsoever. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. Um, I just feel like I didn't even wear as many polishes as I wanted to either. I had a lot of greens pulled and then, um, all this stuff just hit and I kind of got into a little bit of a funk. I'm kind of feeling like I'm, you know, kind of getting out of it right now. And I'm, I know that painting my nails makes me feel better. So I'm actually making time for it. Even if I don't necessarily feel like it, um, it's sort of like working out. Like once you kind of start, you're like, okay, this wasn't so bad and it's actually making me feel better. Um, so I feel like I'm in that place now, which has been good. Um, so let's talk about all the polishes. Um, so my first combination I had on the nail was these two polishes. I loved this combination, you guys. Um, so I have People of Color Beauties, Simply Terra Nia. Um, this green is so beautiful, you guys. I loved this on the nail. I thought it was super, super flattering. Um, it had a great, great formula, two coats to get opaque. Um, I like these sort of weird, interesting greens on me, especially in the summer. Um, I actually did a paint your nails with me in case you are wondering about the formula of this polish You can check it out on that video. I'll link it down below um, People of color beauty has some of the most amazing polish formulas you guys and I love the brush I feel like she has a very nice um, Wider brush which makes cleanup not so hard for me um and the formulas are just so good. If you have not tried People of Color Beauty, I would definitely go check her out. Um, I'll link her down below. She's coming out with a new summer collection. Um, I'm not sure when they drop. If you sign up for her newsletter, she's been um, giving you details on each of the new shades of the collection. It looks really fun, really, really pretty. So I'll have all that um, information down below for you guys. I paired it with Sala Burt from the China Glaze um, Holiday Sesame Street collection. I liked the polish. I just felt like the formula was not what I was expecting. Um, I've worn some of these other ones already and they were very nice to get opaque on their own. This one did take um, three to four coats, I think, to get to the opacity I wanted on the nail. Um, so I'm not sure if this was supposed to be a topper and I thought it was get opaque on its own. Um, but it is an interesting shade because it is gold, but it has like that little bit of a touch of a green. So it is very um, unique to my collection. And I felt like this combination together was just really, really pretty. So that was the first combination I wore. Um, and next up, I put on Reuse from Colores de Carol. This is still available right now. This is a white Crowley with um, green, turquoise, and gold micro glitters. I really, really loved this, you guys. Great formula, two coats to get opaque. Um, so baseball season has started when I put this on, and I used some really cute baseball nail decals from... Um, fun girl polish um i really really like them they're super easy to use it gives me the look of nail art without actually having to be talented at nail art so um if you guys have never tried water nail decals i highly recommend them i think they're super easy to use um i actually picked up a few from her for baseball and then she has some really really cute designs so i'll link her website down below in case you guys are interested in checking out some nail water decals i think she actually had some this month for polish pickup with spongebob um i think they sold out but she has some really fun stuff really fun ways to add interest to your manicures so um i really enjoyed this manicure a lot too then i was in the mood for something really really bright again so i went with bluebirds lacquer pick me um this was from polish pickup um she doesn't say the month but i think it was like 80s or 90s month this was based off the slime from the show double dare from nickelodeon if you guys remember that um i feel like the color is an exact match for that slime this has a lot of really pretty flakies in it um this was gorgeous on the nails you guys it was three coats to get opaque but the coats were really easy they dried really fast because of the neon pigment um this really glowed off the nail it was very eye-catching i got some compliments on this one and i really really did enjoy it quite a bit um i actually think i would like to wear this again in the summer just because it's really really super bright and summery 
Um, and then next up, I had this pulled. I bought this for Polish Pickup, and I've just been really wanting to wear it, so I thought this would be a good time because it's green. This is Pretty Beautiful Unlimited, The Path of Leaf Resistance. This is from... Um, it says December's polish pickup. So I was really, really excited for this polish. It's like a very dark, um, not even foresty green, more leaf colored with a ton of um, holographic and flakies. And then when I wore it, I was just kind of like not completely blown away. I don't know if because I was trying to wear it like off season threw me off or what. I will try it again before I decide if I'm like wanting to kind of get rid of it. I just felt like maybe I was in the mood for something lighter and brighter and this just wasn't what I was craving and maybe that's why it was sort of like eh to me I don't know but um it is a pretty polish had a good formula two coats to get opaque um it just didn't wow me like I was hoping that it was gonna wow me so I don't know I hate when that happens it does make me kind of sad so then after all the darkness, I decided I'm just going to go with what I'm craving. I'm going for light and bright and fun. Um, and I decided to wear Miss You Sue from um, from Moonshine Manny. So <clears throat> this has a really beautiful, this is a really beautiful Crowley glitter mix. It's sort of like a minty light green. And then there's purple and black glitters in various sizes and a little bit of holographic so i've told you guys in the past i'm part of makeup alley's nail board um we had a member pass away two years ago um her name was susan and a couple of ladies on the board reached out to phoebe from moonshine manny and asked if she would be willing to make custom polishes for our group and she's so sweet she said yes so there was three polishes made in honor of susan this was one of them um and then there was also a um, black holographic that I picked up and another one similar to this but more green, like grass green, that was called Springtime Yard. Um, Susan would always post pictures of her yard with all the beautiful flowers in the spring. And then um, she would call gray pastel black, which we thought was hilarious. Um, so that was another funny thing. And then um, she had two cats, Jeffrey and Tycho. And she would always post um, her manis with her kitty pictures. So the other polish was um, based off the cats, the other one I picked up. And then this one was just a really fun polish that the ladies designed. And um, her birthday her birthday had passed and I had like not worn the polish and I decided I wanted to wear it because I miss her post. I thought she was a sweet lady. She actually gave me a lot of pointers and was one of the people that kind of like took me under her wing as far as polish goes um all the ladies on makeup belly are super sweet but she was like extremely sweet with her tips and her pointers on nail polish and so um i just felt like it was a nice way to honor her birthday passing and um it's an adorable polish you guys has a great formula two coats to get opaque um i don't have a lot of moonshine manis and now i'm kind of like why not because this one was so so fun so that was a Miss You Sue. Then again, I was just craving a lot of really bright polishes. So I decided to put on this Dury Cosmetics. <laughs> it's really bright. This is called Piranha. This was sent to me by my friend Olga. She's very, very sweet. She sent me a whole bundle of polishes a while back. And um, I've never tried Dury Cosmetics. The formula on this was kind of your typical neon um, a little bit hard to apply to the nail. I did end up doing four coats. The coats went on really smooth um, and they dried really quickly so building them up was not a big deal but it was a four coater. The look on the nail though you guys I was like I'm willing to do four coats for this polish. Um, so when I like a look I'll sometimes like really do things that a lot of people are like yeah I'm not gonna do it. Um, so I really enjoyed this on the nail. I think this is a fun polish going into summer as well. Um, and I decided to top it with Pot of Gold from Colores de Carol. This is like a gold version of um, China Glaze's Fairy Dust. I This is a topper like I didn't even realize I wanted and once I had it I'm like in love with it. So this was a really pretty combination. I thought it was perfect for summer even though I was wearing it in spring. I think the gold glitter on this really had a pop I think the gold glitter topper really added a pop to this polish. Um, I believe this polish is still available from Colores de Carol in case you guys you know, are interested. Really, really gorgeous topper. I'm excited to try this over some other things going forward. Um, 
just because I've never had a gold version of fairy dust and I'm really liking it. So I really enjoyed this combination so much. It really put me in a good mood, like boosted my spirits and was very, very eye catching. Got a lot of compliments on this one. And then last up, I was feeling very nostalgic. Um, I wanted to wear a green that I knew I really enjoyed. Um, I was getting a little bit tired of green, so I went into a little bit more of a teal type polish. So my next combination was these two polishes from China Glaze. Um, this one is China Glaze's Four Leaf Clover. Um, this is one of my most favorite green polishes. I'm not sure when this polish came out or if it's still part of their core collection or not. Um, I actually picked this up in a D stash. But um, I went to the nail salon one day and I was getting a pedicure. And I picked this as my pedicure color. And oh my gosh, you guys, I completely fell in love with it. It was like instant love at first sight. I could not stop staring at my toes. I love the way it popped. I love the way it popped off my tan skin. I loved the way it looked with sandals on. I was just completely in love with this. So I had been meaning to pick it up. I ran across it in a D stash for like two or three dollars and I just had to have it. The formula on this is a little bit thicker, I do think because it has been used. Um, but it was a two coater for me. I just love this color, you guys. I think it's so flattering, so pretty. Um, not straight up green. If you're not into straight up green, it does have that like touch of a teal to it. Gorgeous, gorgeous polish. Um, for sure, one of my favorite greens ever. And then um, I have never worn this. So this is um, China Glazes. It's a trapeze. This polish is really, really old, you guys. I'm ashamed to admit I have never gotten this on the nails. It is one of the first mainstream Crowley polishes that like ever came out. Um, Indies kind of had already been doing them, but mainstreams had kind of laid off. This was in the time where like mainstreams were really pushing the envelope, trying to do really fun and exciting things. Um, that was one of the reasons I fell in love with China Glaze when I first, first got into polishes. I feel like they were always trying to push the envelope, give you fun things, fun glitters, interesting stuff. Um, and this polish was so fun and interesting at the time. Mine has sort of changed from white to a little bit of a cream colored base. I still enjoyed it. I thought it was really pretty, really fun. I think the combination of these two is gorgeous on the nails. But um, I'm a little sad that it changed before I even wore it for the first time. Um, I don't know if like some of the glitter bled into the base or maybe it just needs to be shaken up or what. But um, it did fade a little bit. So if you guys do have this polish, I would definitely check yours and see if it has faded. Um, I did use two coats of this polish to get opaque. And I just loved this. I feel like this was a fun combination. It was very nostalgic for me. Um, both of these polishes were really, really beautiful on the nails. Good formulas. Um, so if you have these China Glazes in your collection and you haven't worn them yet, I would definitely check them out. I highly recommend this color as a pedicure color. I don't usually do green on the nails just because um, feet fungus. But this shade is not like green per se. It's more of a teal. So this is amazing as a pedicure in the summer, you guys. So in between all of that, I didn't get to post it just because there's like dates when I can show polishes, but I wore Painted Phalanges Oops um, from this month's polish pickup during this whole time too for a few days. You guys, I loved this polish. Um, I went to swatch it and as soon as I put it on one hand, I was like, I'm wearing this. I put it on the other hand and I freaking was so in love with it. So in love. Super eye-catching on the nail. Very fun. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but it has some really beautiful flakies and micro glitter in there. Has a great formula. Two to three coats to get opaque depending on application and nail length. Um, this just really brightened up my mood and spirits, you guys. Um, I hope you all pick this up. Perfect for summer. I think this would be maybe a pretty pedicure. I'm kind of scared because it is, I don't know. I might try it as a pedicure, but really, really beautiful polish. Um, I really, really did enjoy this. So I did wear this for a few days during all of the green madness and I was in love with it. So now let's talk about some of my favorite manicures that you guys did um, during the month of March. This is from Love for Polish. I'll put everybody's Instagram names down below so you guys can go check them out. Um, she has on Cupcake Polish Plumpy and Orly's Green with MB. I am in love with this combination. Look how pretty that is. I also love her nail shape. I love square nails, you guys. I wish I could pull off the square nail look for myself. Um, super, super pretty. I really love the glitteriness of that cupcake polish. Next up is from The Polished Librarian. 
she has on art as nails minted look at that oh my gosh so pretty i love her nail shape i love her swatch picture i really like the shade of this polish i want to try some artist nails i haven't yet um hopefully i'll get around to that sometime this is from crystal dot skyscraper she has on essie's all hands on deck and then she did some really beautiful stamping on it it's super pretty very metallic um and then she did some really beautiful gold stamping on top i really liked this i felt like um the gold and the green together was really beautiful and the stamping images she picked were really really pretty um next is b jordan wi um here she has on china glazes emerald bay which really does remind me in swatch pictures anyway of four leaf clover and she paired it with turtle tootsie polishes may look how cute that is that may is an adorable polish it's like a white crowley with a ton of different sizes of gold square glitters i really liked that combo i thought it was fun cheery and bright um, this was a recreation of one of the pinnet manicures. This is from Lizard Loves Nails. She has on Zoya's Wyatt, Night Owl Lacquer's Enchanted Mint, and Revere. That's how I'm going to say it. And Bisney's Lacquer, a manatee shrimp's favorite color. Look how pretty. I would never think to pair these two polishes together and I love it and then this was the Manny she was recreating for the pin it I actually like her pin it better <laughs> I just thought it was so pretty I love her nail shape as well I think her application always looks super nice um next up is from my sweet friend Amy Sue swatching Sue 74 on Instagram she has on Great Lakes Lacquer the very fires of mortar I have never tried a Great Lakes Lacquer but man she is making me feel like I need to try one look how green and glowy that is um here she sort of does a blurry so you guys can see the holographic super pretty green I'm really enjoying her nails grown out a little bit her new nail length very pretty Amy Sue my friend Amy Mervy on Instagram is killing it with her swatch game you guys um, if you are not following Mervy on Instagram get your butt over there follow her she puts stuff on and I'm just like oh my gosh so here she has on for Audrey from China glaze um, she had never tried it before and oh my gosh look at that on her perfection she makes me want to pull out my for audrey and wear it because this looks so freaking beautiful on her her nail shape is amazing i love how she always gets really beautiful lighting her hands always look so elegant in her um swatch pictures um ugh. she made for audrey like re she kind of made for Audrey like top of my list again. When for Audrey first came out from China Glaze, I was in love with it. I hunted it down. I had to have it. And then like, you know, you just get all these polishes and you forget what you have. When she posted this, I was just like, oh my gosh. It took me back to love at first sight with for Audrey again. Very nostalgic. Um, You guys, oh, love. This is from my friend Kelly, K.Dillian on Instagram. She is wearing Irish eyes from Pep Nail Vibes. Look how pretty that is. Um, Callie and I have extremely, extremely similar polish tastes. We both love Crowley's. We both love pinks. We both love bright polishes. Um, I always love to see what Callie's wearing because I feel like I would love it. Like, I feel like she's one of the closest people to, like, polish twins for me as far as similar polish tastes go. I feel like we're like this. We see like this when we, <laughs> um, we're eye to eye when we pick polishes. Like, when she posts the stuff she plans to wear for the polish tuck challenge i'm always like oh my gosh i love everything um when she puts stuff on the nails i love it i just feel like we have we're very um in the same vibe when it comes to polish iq nail also did a recreation that i loved um she did the, she did the manicure with the little four leaf clover on the ring finger um i thought she did a great job i think she hand painted that little four leaf clover i thought it was amazing that was the mani that it was inspired by and hers is super fun you guys i really liked it so congratulations to all you guys who went out on the limb and did some nail art i feel like such a slacker that i didn't even get around to that and then next up is from my friend carolina from gotta love polish um, she is wearing Lucky Charm from Noodles Nail Polish. She did some really, really beautiful stamping. Um, I really like it. It's super fun. 
I always, again, wish I could stamp. I wish now would be the perfect time if I didn't have to work that everyone's in quarantine to try my stamping. But I am still working, so um, it is what it is. Man, I could talk about this all day. I'm going to do two more. Let me see which other two. Um, so this is from, oh gosh, S-W-A-L Pole. I don't know how you pronounce that Instagram name at all, but I am in love with this manicure. Her nail shape is amazing. She has on Night Owl Lacquer. I am allergic to pollen and social situations. I like that name. Um, and then she did some really gorgeous stamping on that. Look at that freaking manicure, you guys. Um, I think she's new to the challenge because I have never, like, noticed her username before. But, man, she blew me away big time with that. Actually, I'm going to see. I'm not even following her, so I'm going to follow her right now. Um, make sure you guys go follow her. That was, again, S-W-A-L-P-O-L-E. Um, while I'm on her page, she has some really beautiful. Oh, my goodness. She has some really beautiful manicures. I'm going to make sure that you guys get over there. This is another one of hers. Look how pretty. She only has um, 199 followers right now with me following her. So get over there, you guys. Oh, I hate when people have the most beautiful nail accounts and nobody's following them. It just, it bothers me. <laughs> I've been sharing a lot of accounts I like. I plan to keep doing that. People that need more love because there's some really talented people out there and they're just not getting the love. And they need the love, you guys, so head over there and help them out. This is from Zandri Zandria Polish. I think that's how you pronounce her name. She has on Mighty Mac from Lin B Designs. This is a thermal polish. Look how gorgeous that is on her. If you do not follow Zandria Polish, she is a swatcher for a ton of brands. You guys should head over to her account, show her some love. Um, yeah, she could use some love. She does a ton of beautiful swatches. She swatches for Colores de Carol, uh, Moonshine Manny, I think RJ Nails or something like that. ML Nails, M and L Nails, sorry. Um, and a few other brands. So definitely go check her out, you guys. Um, she does beautiful swatch pictures. If you guys are especially of a deeper skin tone, you'll appreciate her swatching just because us people of deeper skin tones don't get a ton of swatching accounts to follow so there's one for you of course i have to show you this one you guys so this is from sheila from variety varnish she is wearing moo moo signatures deer mountain from polish pickup um february look at that freaking swatch picture people she catches the glow perfectly um her application and nail shape is perfection. She just started swatching for another brand, um, a newer indie brand. Let me see what that one's called. MJ Lacquer. She's swatching for MJ Lacquer now. Um, look at that yellow. And go check her out, you guys. She also has a, um, she also has a YouTube channel. She has amazing content. She just did the Spring Polish Picks collaboration with us all. And I always feel like her picks are stuff that is so out of the box and unexpected. I look forward to her videos where she's doing her seasonal favorites because she picks some stuff that I'm like, man, I would have never even thought to pick that. And it just, it's very nice when people show you things that like not everybody's showing you. And I, she always does that for me. So I hope she gets some more swatching because look at that. Look at that yellow on her. Yellow's her favorite color. Um, but check out her account. She is another account that definitely needs some love. She has some really beautiful polished content on her Instagram channel and her YouTube channel. She's a super sweetheart too, so please, please go follow my friend Sheila. Um, you guys will not be disappointed. So that was a lot of green manicures. You guys did amazing for the Polish Talk Challenge 2020. I appreciate all of your participation. Um, you guys are really pushing me to get a lot of just polishes worn, try new things, all of the fun stuff that nails is supposed to be. I feel like during this time, um, it's something really nice to focus on because things we usually focus on have been taken away, like work, um, going out, shopping, vacations. A lot of that stuff is gone right now, temporarily, but um, we can put our focus into other things and um, nail polish is a great thing to put your focus into. So if you want to join the Polish Talk Challenge 2020 for the month of April, we're doing Easter polishes. 
glitter days so any type of glitter topper and um spring crowleys so if you guys decide to join paint your nails post your um Post your managers to Instagram, use the hashtag, put all the hashtags in the description box down below for you guys so that you guys know which hashtags to use. Um, and that is it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I wore for the month of March. I hope you guys plan on participating for the month of April. Um, if you guys like this video, please make sure to click the like button down below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. Thanks you guys for watching. I will see you all in the next video. I hope you all are staying safe and having an amazing day. Bye.